school um, do for like of the quarantine stuff. Um, do a pretty simple face. I'm gonna use the strobe primer. Oh, that was weird. Did y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all heard that, but it did some. Turn the radio off. The kids are playing with the radio. That's what it was. I thought it was coming from my um, iPad. Okay, so this is the strobe primer. It is extremely, extremely hydrating which I'm liking right now. I'm liking the dewy, glowy look that um, it gives. Liking it a lot. So I'm thinking, and I haven't color matched to my spray tan, not spray tan, my self tanner either. So I know I'm obviously, I'm not gonna be um, the color that I was. I'm thinking about maybe trying the serum foundation because I've never tried the serum. Um, ever. Let's see. But like I said, I have no idea what color I'm going to be because I've been, um, tan that's a little light thinking. I don't know that might work. Mm. Alright, we're going to go with it. We can we can build. Let's see. That is 06. That one's definitely too light. Turn it off! Children! All right, so I'm gonna use the serum foundation today. It's the first time um, I've ever tried this um, foundation. So y'all are gonna learn um, about it as I do. So it comes in a dropper. This is good for um, people with dry skin. If you have dry skin, this is the perfect foundation for you. Um, I've never tried it, so here we go. Let's see what it does. See what the coverage looks like. And like I said, the um, color may not even be anywhere remotely close to what I need, but I kind of just I think it matches pretty good. And this isn't one of the cheaper. Um, foundations as well. I think it's like $12 maybe. $12.90. I know that's what the stay mat is. It's $12.90. Let's see. I feel like it matches pretty well. I'm not used to being this dark so it's like whoa. So I'm impressed by the coverage of this. Um, I wasn't sure what the coverage was gonna look like because um, I never tried it before, but it is a really good coverage. So this is the Serum Foundation. It's a very large bottle, very, very large bottle, um, 30 milliliters, and it's extremely affordable. Full coverage, and it's really good for dry skin. I'm impressed. So it doesn't feel like I have anything on, which is like true pharmacy fashion the cut it feels great coverage is very good okay so impressed so now I'm gonna go on with some concealer this is shade 03 it's the lightest shade which looks cray cray being a lot darker right now but this is going to brighten and highlight And I'm using my iPad to do my makeup in, so it's kind of hard to like really see. 
Um, and I also, while I was on here, I wanted to talk to you guys um, about would it be better for y'all if I do videos on YouTube or do videos on Facebook Live? I did a um, thing in my private group asking um, like what their recommendations were, if they'd rather see um, if they would rather see um, YouTube videos or they would rather see Facebook Lives and most of all of them said a Facebook Live is what they would rather see. Um, but I'm really thinking now that everybody's in stuck in the house and quarantined and all of that, that Um, YouTube may be the better route to go and I could probably do more of those than I do Facebook lives because I know I have to do Facebook lives at very weird times of the day uh, because of kids and Dylan's work schedule and and all that so Drop in the comments if you would rather see Facebook Lives or um, YouTube. Alright, so that was 03 um, Concealer. And I think we're going to do the contour stick today. So this is a cream contour stick. I never used cream contour until pharmacy. I was a terrified of it. And let me tell you, there's nothing to be terrified about. It is the best. It blends so effortlessly. So effortlessly. And I'm trying to find my brush. Lost my brush. Addison was in here with me the other day while I was doing all this. And I can tell because all of my stuff is everywhere everywhere and I'm trying to kind of do this fast before they realize I'm in here so I just like to use a brush to blend mine in um, some people like to use the beauty blender it's kind of just your preference but I love the brush uh -oh. I think I got caught see how like easy that blended and you can see the difference um, from this side of my face, even though I already have the line, it just gives your face like an, like some definition and some lift. So I like to just kind of go in circles and move it up. As I'm blending it. Now blend it up into my hairline. Hey Kim, hey Heather, hey Miss Lisa. And then this as well, I kind of just go in circles and blend this into my hairline. Contour makes such a difference. So what's everybody doing now that everybody's stuck in quarantine? Um, I'm going to have to go to shore today. Thankfully... Um, Sam is going to go with me and sit in the car with the kids so I don't have to get them out. Um, I'm going to use the three in one palette today. Um, I'm making like a little bundle and I'm going to post this in my private group. But I'm going to use the three in one palette for my contour, my highlight, and my blush today. Um, so I just like to use a um, powder to kind of set my contour it's totally a personal preference hey Kara um, but anyways Sam's gonna ride with me thank God and sit in the car with the kids while I go in and get some groceries because we are like out um, of drinks, um, 
and out of chicken fries, which we cannot be out of chicken fries. I have a hair somewhere. There it is. Um, out of chicken fries, out of potatoes. We're out of all the things that we need to survive. So I've got to run to the store. So there's that, and that's just that um, bronzer in that three-in-one palette. And now I'm gonna use the transparent powder. It is a clear powder. Um, it's not gonna add or take away any color, but it's like a. Um, it blurs everything together. I'm going to do half my face here. So you just kind of tap it in. I like to do it to set everything. But you can even tell just like from this side to this side. It just kind of like blurs everything. Um, it actually has photo filter technology built into it. Whatever that means. Um, so it does just kind of blur all of your lines. Your makeup all together and it just leaves everything looking really flawless and it doesn't add any heavy um feeling so you, if you don't like heavy makeup this is what you're gonna like all right so now i'm gonna use this blush right here And I'm basically only doing this for you guys. I haven't put makeup on in so long. So long. Because we, I used to go to Walmart like twice a week just to kind of get us out of the house. But now we can't do that. So, we literally do not leave. We sit here all day, every day. Um, and now I'm gonna use this highlight here. I love this three-in-one palette. It is not um, used. Hey, mom, I was just about to like text you and tell you that I was on live. But I love, love, love this three-in-one palette. So easy and it's like 19 bucks um i have had it since uh, i started in august and i don't even have a dent in it yet so it just takes very 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 little right, so now we're gonna do some brows if i can find find if i can find the brow powder we're gonna do some brows, brows. So I had everything so organized. Y'all, look how this is the color I normally am, which I have never used it, but look at the difference. So I used the serum today. It's extremely full coverage. I am, where is my brow powder? Addison went through and just like destroyed this makeup case. That's not it either. What the crap? Okay, so I use uh, the brow powder in number two. And she did something on my brush too. Let's find it. She loves to help mama. Bless her heart. And most of the time. Hey! Calm down. Sorry for the background noise. All right, so I just like to tap in to the brow powder. I use our pharmacy brush. It's extremely long, like wide. So it, um, I don't know, I feel like I can get my brows done a lot faster. So I just tap into it. 
Hey, Lauren. And I outline and then I go and fill in. Like that. So brows so matter. I need to do a half face challenge on here one day with y'all. I need to trim my brows. Look at that. I need to trim them. Okay, so look at the difference in brows. Brows matters, guys. All right, so. What's everybody up to in the quarantine? In the quarantine. I was watching The Resident earlier. I don't know if anybody on here watches The Resident. I love The Resident. It's like one of my favorite shows. Um, but there was an episode from a couple of weeks ago. And you know that they film TV shows, like, in advance. So there's no way that this show was just filmed. I'm sure it was filmed, like, months and months and months ago. But on there, there was this patient who had, like, a really bad um, illness. They called it, like, the super bug or something like that. And they were trying to, like, not let anybody else know because if you watch the resident you know that the owner of the hospital that just took it over is like super shady and him and dr kane um are very shady together and anyways they were trying to keep it from everybody else and he said well at least the super bug is not airborne like coronavirus and this you know that wasn't like it was like three weeks ago episodes so that just like threw me for a loop because you know here we are living in the coronavirus times we're living a history lesson right now and then they say that so I thought that was pretty crazy um, I think I'm gonna use this palette today this is the sun sunset kiss eyeshadow trio um but anyways whenever they said that i was like it really threw me for a loop that they they said that on there yeah at least it's not an airborne virus like coronavirus and it, i was i'm still on that episode i started at like seven o'clock this morning and i still haven't finished it because the kids got crazy and then had to turn on like Umi Zoomy or something. So I never did finish the episode to see if they ever said anything else about the coronavirus. But I just thought it was really weird that a resident TV show was talking about coronavirus. So I'm not doing a really bold eye today. I'm kind of just going more simple. Just something to make me feel a little human. Mostly just to talk with y'all about things. All right, so I started off with this color and then I went in with this one and now I'm gonna go in with this one right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that gold on the inside and blend it up. Can y'all hear Emmy Zumi in the background? Emmy Zumi and all right. Now I'm gonna take this um, color here and do on the bottom. a little bit and then take that gold hey, 
Marley. Alright, so now we're gonna go with the ink liner. It has a great felt tip on it. And you can make your lines as thin or as thick as you like. Um, and those people who like wings, this is a great mascara, I mean eyeliner for that. They're down there playing on guard. I guess they're being pirates. They're saying on guard, on guard, on guard. They're like playing pirates. All right. All right, so I'm gonna use the black roll-up liner on the bottom and the lash line. the Zen mascara this mascara is eight bucks and I'm also gonna use setting spray before I do that to set everything um, this mascara is eight bucks it has an insane um, lengthening power and it also has vitamin B in it so it is helping your lashes grow as well while it's on and it's only eight bucks um and if you join my team and become a beauty influencer for 20 bucks you get everything half off so i pay four dollars for this mascara and it is the bomb dot com i love it i love the wand on it it's a silicone wand And I love it. Hey Morgan. Hey Lakin. Look at the different, that's one coat in the mascara. What is everybody doing to like occupy their time right now? Is anybody homeschooling? Um, Cause apparently all the kids are, schools are shut down. Nothing in our life has really changed too dramatically. Um, a lot of the guys that work in Dylan's plant got laid off, but thankfully him and his crew didn't. So they're still working. Um, they are considered essential um, and we don't go anywhere or hang out with anybody that is outside of the crew so um, they all just go straight to work and come straight home and then all of us all live here in the RV park together so it's kind of just like one big family so if one of us gets it we're all going to get it anyway because they're all together every day. Okay. So that's the Zen mascara, working at home with kids. So that would be rough. Working, having to work through this at home with kids would be rough. Definitely thinking about all of you guys that are having to go through that. So I'm gonna use the I still have some of these bundles ready and left to ship out. These are, it's the nude bundle. It has a lip liner, 203, it has 205 liquid lipstick, and then it also has Dusty Rose, lip, Dusty Rose a lip gloss in it. Um, I think it's like 30 bucks for the whole set, but it's the perfect nude color. Um, I don't have anything to wipe my 
I put some plumper on before I started. So yeah, Dylan is considered an essential employee. They gave them, we're at a stay at home order. Um, so like, or you really can't leave. Um, and so they like gave them things at work, a piece of paper, uh, in case they get pulled over. It says like where they work and it has their name on it um, and where they work and all that stuff, which is crazy, crazy. All right, so that was a lip liner two, three. Our lip liners are like $4, so I get them for two. And then this is the liquid lipstick in 205 Brave. It's the perfect nude. It looks, it's so weird whenever you're darker. How different colors look on you. Um, hey, Miss Ann. All right, guys. So, this is it. Finished look. Um, super easy, super simple. Um, I am highly impressed with the serum foundation. First time I ever tried it, and I'll let you guys know how, like, it wears throughout the day. Um, but I really like the coverage of it, and I'll, I literally feel like I have no makeup on right now. It's all so light. So, so, so light. And I love that. So, Anyways, I'm going to get off here and go do something with this hair and get the kids ready. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.